Hi and welcome to lesson 11. This is my favorite part of the unit. Today we are going to learn about mixing things with water. But before starting with this video, let's check what you need for this class. The first thing as always is to watch this video. You will also need your My Pals Are Here 2A student book and activity book. At the end of the class, you can also work on the worksheets that are going to be useful to check how much you learn from this class. There are also going to be some links for extra optional videos that are going to be super fun. It's extra information that you can check about mixing things with water. But before starting with that, let's review what we learned from previous lesson. In the previous lesson, we learned that water can be found in three different states, as liquid, gas, and solid. And we have water as liquid, gas as steam, and ice for solid. We also learned that water can change the, to these states when it reaches different temperatures and that molecules are closer or more separately according to the state they are. Well, let's start with this class. Please open your My Pulse Are Here to a student book on pages 64 and 65. As you can see, our friends are in a kitchen. They have different elements. Let's read the questions first. Can all things mix with water? Which things float? Which things sink? Float means that stay on the top of water, on the surface, and sink that goes to the bottom, to the last part. Well, can all things mix with water? That's a very good question. You can try to answer. You can pause the video and then we continue. All right. If you say, no, not all things mix with water, correct. That's the correct answer. Which things float? Well, of course, here we have pebbles. Pebbles are little rocks, and they don't float. Then we can see oil. Oil floats on water, so that's a different result. But what happened with syrup, and what happened with sugar. Let's check the word bank. Here we have mix together, disappear, do not mix, color change. Uh -huh. As you can see, syrup and water mix together and change the color of water. And in the case of sugar or salt, is the same thing in this case, they can mix together, but they don't change the color. They disappear. Another word that can be useful for this is dissolved. Dissolve is disappear. So we can say that rocks or pebbles don't mix with a water and they sink. And oil don't mix with water and oil floats on water. See, as Joe says, wow, the oil is on top of the water. Let's read the signs at home. Look for different things you can find at home, such as sugar, salt, paint, soil, oil, and so on. Get a few cups of water and a spoon. Mix each thing with each cup of water. Which things disappear? Which things changes color? Which things float? Which thing sinks? Hmm. It seems that you are going to do an experiment. But remember, you have to clean after doing the experiment. It's your responsibility as a scientist. Let's continue. So here we have a little explanation of what we were reading before. What happens when things are mixed with water? Some things mix together with water and disappear. 
or dissolve. Sugar or salt goes into water. You stir, that means revolver, and you are going to find what happens. Uh, some things mix together with water and change color. Syrup or maybe tea or maybe uh, paint can change the color of water. Some things do not mix with water, they float. Oil and water are no friends. When you are cooking, you don't have to mix this together. It can be very dangerous, so always pay attention to not mix water and oil when you are cooking. In a hot pan, of course. And some things do not mix with water. They sink in water. Like sand. Let's check the activity book. If you open your activity book on page 25, you can do this experiment, draw what happened. In this case, I cannot give you like a complete answer because maybe you can mix more than one thing. But if you mix salt and water and stir for a while, it should disappear or dissolve. In the case of honey, it should change the color of water into a yellow or caramel color. In the case of oil, as you may know, oil stays on the top, it floats on water. And of course, sand, sand would sink. Fantastic job! Super fun, right? Let's go back to the student book. If you open your student book on pages 68 and 69, you have the at the glance section. And here we have these ideas. Water comes in different forms. Water mixes with some things and do not mix with some other things. Let's check the science words. Here we have water, no color, cold, mixed together, do not mix, ice, no smell, hard, disappear, float, steam, no taste, shape, change color, sink, and hot. Lots of words, but you already know most of this, so you have to pay attention to mix together and do not mix and change color, I think. Let's continue with the self-check. Here we have to use the words disappear, sink, or forms. Number one, water comes in different forms. Number two, water mixes together with some things. This thing will disappear or change color. Number three, water do not mix with some things. These things will float or sink. All right, so yes, we have some results. Let's check what we have learned from this lesson. Today, we learned that not all liquids are the same. Oil is also a liquid, and water uh, is a liquid too, and they are not the same. When we add things to water, we can get different results. Some mix, others sink, others get dissolved or disappear, and some others can float. Some things do not mix with water, and we can also change water texture, color, smell, taste and more things when we add different things to water. This lesson is super nice because it opens the door for you to experiment. Remember always be careful and clean after. Always you have to clean after you do experiment. It's important. Remember uh, 
that you can also watch the videos that are in YouTube if you want more information or extra things to learn. But as always, they are absolutely optional. I hope you have found this lesson. Bye bye. See you in the next one.